morning, Oxford County. I am Sarah Accioni. You are watching an episode of Your Oxford, and today's episodes are brought to you by the Woodstock Agricultural Society, also commonly known as the Fairgrounds, if you're not familiar. Thank you so much to Maria, who uh, sponsored these episodes. She's let us come in. They're actually getting set up for an event behind us. Not sure if you can see that. Now, I am super excited because whenever we have new people come on the, uh, the show, I get excited to meet people. I have Taylor Ross from the Woodstock Art Gallery. Taylor, welcome. Thanks, thanks for having me. And you are Visitor Services, the summer student for the Art Gallery. Yep. Right? So we've got you for the summer. Mm hmm. Yeah, Perfect. whole summer. That's awesome. You're enjoying your time at the Art Gallery? Yeah, it's been amazing. A great student yeah, yeah. opportunity. We're lucky to have uh, a facility like that. Mm hmm. Now I know we've got a lot to talk about. You've got some fall programming coming up. What's happening there? Yeah, we really have something for everyone at the Art Gallery. Starting in the fall, we have our Artful Possibilities. So that's for people age 11 to 17. And that they're going to be doing in costume painting so they're going to be making uh, cards so that's encaustics is work done with wax so that's something for ages 11 to 17 to kind of get their hands into art we also have three weeks of printmaking with Andrew Moore so Andrew Moore was a uh, from Artbeat if you remember that earlier in the summer he worked with grade 10 students from here on Park and he's coming back to do three weeks of printmaking starting October 3rd and that's for anyone who's 14 years old or older we also have the return of me too Tuesdays but it's now known as mini makers so that's for the little ones nice. and uh, it's back in the fall runs September 25th to November 13th again it's really good for kids just to get them exposed to arts they get to yeah. come with their caregiver and kind of see what that's all about and then we have our PA day so the first PA day we have our creative PA day for the elementary level students and then for the older teens we have the uh, portfolio PA day so they get to meet with an artist and go over what they should kind of prepare to take a post-secondary in the arts field which is really neat I've seen some yeah. of the kids kind of grow through the programs mm -hmm. and put together pieces for the portfolio we have some pretty major talent in Oxford County. yeah for sure we do now this is an event Jerry and I always go to this it's an event for mom and dad, Taste of Art. Mm -hmm. So Taste of Art, we have a lot of local vendors coming in. It's going to be a great night for food and drink. And yes. we also have some <laughs> like talents, some musical talents. I know we have a magician coming. We have a belly dancer. So a lot of fun things going on at the gallery for that night. That's awesome. Now that's September 22nd. It's a Saturday night. Yep. Yep. 7 till 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. How do I get tickets for that? So you can come into the gallery, you can go on our website, mm -hmm. anything like that you can. And it's $50 a couple? Yep, okay. $50 a ticket, yep. Perfect. So money really well spent. Go hungry. Do not have dinner before you go to this event. We made that mistake the first year. And let me tell you, we missed out on some really good food because we were already full. <laughs> So, and make sure you get there early so that you get a taste of all the vendors. <laughs> now I know, so we also have, there's a bus tour that's coming up. Mm -hmm. We have our bus tour in October. Uh, the tickets are $125. That includes your travel as well as a lunch. So you'll get on uh, in Woodstock and then you'll go to the Mississauga Art Center. And there you'll get lunch. And from there you'll go to Art Toronto where um, it's the largest contemporary art fair. So it's Pretty that's cool. really yeah. kind of neat. That's a good way to see art too. Yeah, it's kind of nice little trip guided to her a little bit. Um, and I know this event is really successful. We've talked to Mary a couple times about this. The see you at the movie passes. Mm -hmm, for sure, it's just a great way to uh, see some films that you wouldn't usually see at like the gallery cinemas. So our first film is Mary Shelley, which kind of follows um, Mary Shelley's first love and what kind of inspired her to write Frankenstein. But the films will run from September to June, with the exception of Jan or. December because it gets really busy with Christmas right. but yeah it's gonna be a good season for that yep. and I can pop into the gallery to get those passes yeah we have two options so we have evening and matinee so really yeah. that's great that's fantastic so lots to do for the entire family lots of programming for kids PA days mom and mm -hmm. dad if you don't have anything to do for the kids check out the art gallery programs because they are really really cool mm -hmm. all right Taylor what's the website for the art gallery so it's the same as our old one, www.woodstockartgallery.ca. Okay. Um, it'll redirect you to our new city website, but you can find all of our programming, all of our events on there. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Taylor, thanks so much for all the information today. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming to the Woodstock yeah. Art Gallery. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Yeah, it'd be awesome. All right. Mm -hmm. And that's it for today for this episode. Thank you, Maria and the Woodstock Agricultural Society. As always, please remember to like, comment on this episode, tag a friend that you think might uh, want to sign up for some of these activities, and share this episode. Let's make sure we really spread what there is to offer in Oxford County. Until next time.